Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so the mission of the Latino Cultural Center is to serve as a regional catalyst for the preservation, promotion, and development of Latino and Hispanic arts and culture. This is our, actu our, our annual juried exhibition called Hecho in Dallas or Made in Dallas. This is the 13th annual, and so what you, are, what you see is a juried art exhibit. We have three jurors, uh, Patricia Rodriguez, uh, Claudia Zapata, and Gerardo Robles, who also curated the exhibit, and so artists submit their work, and then the jurors choose the artists. It's a blind selection, by that I mean that the jurors do not know the artist's name. They just get to see a slide of the, of the artist, what they've submitted, and also the descriptions. This is called Somewhere, meaning Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and the classic movie of The Wizard of Oz, but this is the poppy fields, and with the texture here is, is what inspires me. It's both the color and the movement of the color along with the different texture. This is a, a, a fused glass, a kiln corn glass piece, in the vitrium style. It's kind of like, it makes you think outside the box in that, um, you know, it's like you look at it, okay, but then when you see the name, you connect between the name and the colors of the piece. And it's just, I just, I love it. The mission of the Latino Cultural Center is to serve as a regional catalyst for the preservation, promotion, and development of Latino and Hispanic arts and culture. As such, the center does provide funding for individual artists in some capacity and also through the Office of Cultural Affairs Special Support Grant. I really feel that it's strong it's very important that we embrace local artists um, and ultimately a society is judged by the art they create so I think that we are positioned in a, at a point a very interesting point in Dallas and with 43 percent of our population being Latino it's very important that we grow our Latino artist community. Awesome. Esta, esta pintura está basada yo he, desde que era niño y me llevaban al circo me fijaba un poco no, un, o mucho en, en la crueldad hacia los elefantes, a, a muchos animales, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé, el elefante como que es, siempre me han llamado, es uno de los animales que más me ha llamado la atención. Esta pintura es, uh, entra en lo que es realismo. Me arrepiento hasta cierto punto, digo hasta cierto punto porque, ¿por qué no lo hice antes? Eh, empecé a mis cuarenta y tantos y pienso, bueno, lo hice y en eso estoy y lo quiero seguir haciendo y no pienso dejarlo de hacer en, de lo que resta de mi vida, ¿verdad? Si ustedes tienen algún, in, algún alguna inquietud por el arte y les llama la atención, lo único que les puedo decir es que lo hagan. Cuando lo empiecen a hacer, cuando lo practiquen van a decir, wow, esto vale la pena. El arte en general envuelve muchísimas cosas, es difícil decir específicamente qué es el arte, pero es todo, es parte de mi vida, eh, trato de... He tratado de, de vivir de ella y no en el sentido de, de dinero ni mucho menos, sino en el sentido de lo que te hace por dentro, ¿no? Lo que, eso es, para mí es todo el arte. ¿sabes? This show is probably my personal favorite at the Latino Cultural Center. It's a hallmark of exhibitions here at the center because you have such a diverse audience here. Uh, I believe the youngest artist this year is 21 years old and then you have an 87 year old. Oh, wow. So that's pretty amazing. <laughs> I'm a first generation Mexican American, and so mis papas son de Mexico, um, Zacatecas, and uh, Monterrey. But man, to me, growing up, it's always been um, a, a form of mediation between two cultures for me. You know, right away, an easier thing to just do it through my work. 
And so uh, what this particular piece here is part of a series called Un Día a la Vez, uh, which deals and focuses more on the victims from the uh, drug wars in Mexico. I decided to go with the uh, bright pink uh, to kind of place on here. Uh, you know, I blocked out everything around them. I just wanted to focus more on their eyes to kind of focus on the emotion that they're feeling. So that way people who uh, would view this painting, um, regardless of what cultural backgrounds they come from, they could relate to the emotion that they see and focus more on the human level, on, on both cultures and why some Mexicanos are, or actually a lot of uh, Latinos are coming over to the United States and hope to get away from situations like this. I faced a lot of tr uh, challenges, including uh, my family sometimes, like my dad, for example, when I told him I was gonna go to college for painting and drawing. Uh, he gave me a huge long speech as into why art doesn't make money. Um, you know, he's very supportive, don't get me wrong, but you know, you are going to face those barriers and those challenges, but one thing is that you always got to remember that uh, you got to believe in yourself and trust that you can get it done. And so no matter how crazy of a deadline I had to finish the assignment or how crazy the idea may seem, um, I just had faith in myself to keep pushing forward. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, thank you.